Hey guys. Cool. Cool. Okay. That's for the outtakes. <laughs> That's for the outtakes. Lou is again from Tropic Marin USA. I'm here with Dr. Samuel Nietzsche. Hey guys. And let me tell you, this guy is, when it comes to coral sex and polyp orgies, this guy is a rock star. I just don't know enough about this. And so what you do interests me like crazy. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. Mm. If it comes to people talking about breaking off a chunk of a coral, gluing it and growing it, sure. I'm, a, yeah. I'm up to speed on that. Yeah. But can you explain to me a little bit more about what you're doing with this with this coral sexual reproduction yeah yeah i should be able to to get the <laughs> job done so uh, as you stated uh, very truly and and correct in the beginning yeah. i'm uh, organizing coral orgies if you want <laughs> if you want to call it that can i come sometime so. to watch <laughs> yes it's red light yeah uh, yeah yeah some good some music, good news, yeah, nice soft a, music yeah, a bit of wine so yeah, but jokes aside so um we, this started as a research project in collaboration with tropic Varian a couple yeah. of years ago i mean that we all know that i mean we've yeah, been yeah. talking about that as well we started to spawn the corals in in germany in uh, artificial conditions to improve the the methods of coral reproduction yeah, yeah. that you could use for the aquarium tray for restoration etc and, and this is really the whole thing of captive spawning of corals we're really starting to understand more about it and yeah, yeah. And, and able to do it pretty much on a regular basis yeah now. exactly so the, the first guy ever like that the actual rock star yeah, of yeah. the whole field jamie craig jamie been, craig yeah. sure <laughs> uh, he was the first one to, to yeah. achieve the spawning of any living person walking this planet basically. yeah 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 so and then in 2020, uh, like seven years later, we were also able in, in Germany as the first to, to, to spawn them. Uh, and now we're in the past year, so we've been here at Interzoo with our babies two years ago. So yeah. now we have a bit of bigger babies here yeah. uh, to display. We're at a stage where we're confident to be able to produce enough corals to also supply to the aquarium trade. So you, you see this as a commercial venture yeah. where someday, very soon, Maybe not tomorrow, <laughs> but someday very soon, yeah. the average hobbyist will be able to purchase a coral that is sexually spawned in yeah. captivity. Yeah. Yeah. What is the advantage of that over a frag coral? So it has, it has a whole array of benefits, yeah. if you will. So you have diversity, genetic diversity. So if you frag a coral, it's a fully developed uh, animal with all the symbioses are de developed and the, the coral itself is like an adult. It's like an adult, yeah. yeah. And if you frag them, it's all the same, it's clones. Right. Right? right. So if you spawn them and you have 10,000 fertilized eggs, then every single egg that is fertilized is a genetically unique uh, individual. Yeah. Right. And that also reflects in the things like coloration and, and growth form. As you can see in the, the corals here, they have different colors, different uh, morphologies. Yeah. So you get a wide variety morphologically in the, in the spawn corals. Yeah. But they also have a higher adaptive uh, potential. Yeah. So, like the, the babies, they're able to, to adjust to... Uh, because they're young. Yeah. yeah. And so they, and, and they don't know, uh, they've never seen a reef, they've never been in the ocean, so yeah. they only know aquarium conditions from second one, yeah. basically. So that's all they know, and that's why they're more uh, stable than uh, imported uh, animals. Very cool. So how, so now I want to know about these guys in particular. How old are these guys here compared to these bigger heads that are over here? So the small ones uh, that are displayed here on the side are about half a year old. Yeah. So spawning was an and, and these are grown from an egg? Yeah, from a single cell, like yeah, a yeah. fertilized egg. Uh, these are half a year, roughly. The, the ones on the outer side is the uh, Acropora austera from the October spawning, and the green fluff fuzzy ones are millipede from December and the bigger ones are uh, tenuous or more likely some mix of tenuous and echinata. Yeah, does anybody really know what tenuous is? <laughs> no, not anymore. So I, I see, at least I see so me. many different corals <laughs> yeah. called tenuous yeah, these yeah. days. No, no, these are about two and a half years old. So these guys you grew from the little tiny spawning yeah. egg, yeah. two and a half years old. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it seems, am I wrong or it seems like really good growth for two and a half years? Yeah, I, I, I don't complain about the growth, yeah. <laughs> but we're also looking into improving growth and stability and morphologies. So I'm, I'm sure we can achieve even better growth. I mean, I think the, the concept of being able to bring this spawning into a commercial venture mm. for a hobbyist to actually get a a yeah. coral that was spawned yeah. made in Germany is a fantastic <laughs> yeah. idea. 
Yeah, thanks, Lou. Awesome. Lou. Thanks, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> okay, so in, in March of this year, we uh, launched the company, the Cyreef. This summer, we're going to set up a facility where we have more space yeah. try to produce more and uh, we'll hopefully be able in the not too distant future to supply the local and, and uh, European trade with uh, corals. Okay, so these. I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. Okay. So we say not so distant future. Yeah. But just kind of in the general sense, are, do you think in, for the market, for really bringing these corals to market, yeah. um, just in Europe now, uh, hopefully someday we bring them to the yeah. US too, but uh, do you think we're talking about like five years or we're no, talking less, less sooner than that? Than that? Less, less than that. If there is no drastic event happening, yeah. no, from, from spawning to a marketable size, we're talking about one year. So you think maybe we might start to see these in a year or two? If things go if well. If everything goes well. Yeah, yeah. I, think but, that's I mean, it's corals. There's always things that yeah, may yeah. not go well, but uh, I'm pretty positive. Super cool. <laughs> there, guys, rock star when it comes to coral orgies. <laughs>